the smallest number. Well done. We start with our smallest number. We jump up from 16 up to the biggest number, which is 23. I've seen some parents that have done it this way, which is brilliant. They've gone, add 1, 17, add 1, 18, add 1, 19, and we keep going until we get to 23. And what we do is we add up all these jumps together. So we've done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So everybody should have the answer of 7. Now let me just show you now how this gets so much easier and why we use this method through the school. When the children become more confident with their numbers and they can see number bonds, that means they can see how to get to the next 10, it becomes so much more simple. So for example, 23 at, uh, take away 16 on a number line would look like this for some children maybe in the top end of year 2 and those children that are going into year 3. So we've got 16, 23, and they go like this. They go, well, I know 16. If I add 4 onto 16, that takes me to 20. So they go like this. <coughs> add 4 takes me to 20. I go, to get from 20 to 23, all I have to do is add 3. All they do now is add 4 and 3 together. They still get the same answer of 7. Now, as the children get older, the numbers become bigger. They start looking at hundreds. In year six, they start looking at thousands. And they can do it in such, a, such an easy way. Eventually, they can start using methods that they feel comfortable with. But this is the way we do it in school to make sure that the teachers understand, that the children understand what the, the, the method is. Do they understand what's happening with the, the numbers and the number bonds? Sometimes it's difficult to see if a child understands. Number bonds are really important. Again, as a number gets bigger, and I'll go through this one, final one for you so you get an idea. So as the numbers start to get bigger and more expansive, we use 94 to get to 136, and then the number bonds come into it straight away. Straight away, 94, six more, that takes me to 100. I'm trying to get to 136. If I add 30, that takes me to 130. And if I add 6, that takes me to 136. Straight away, 6 and 6 is 12. 6 and 6 is 12. Add 30, 42. Does that make sense? I know this is a little bit away from what maybe you're used to. This is not how we did math when I was at school. We did it the column way. We did it all like this. Is that how you looked at it? Yeah, of course you did. Of course you did. But with this, with this, let me explain to you, there is no mathematics. It's all tricks. So for example, what I mean is, if I change this number so it makes more sense to what I'm saying, if I change that to a six, you go six at seven. It's 13, yes? You put the one there, but that's not one, that's ten. That's not six, that's sixty. That's not two, that's twenty. The children don't understand that. They think it's one. Oh, I have to add one on. It's not one, it's ten. And then you start doing it this side. If this was thirty, for example, uh, if this was forty, let's change up to forty. Well, forty at sixty at ten is um, one hundred and ten. Well, one hundred and ten, one there, and one there. No, hold on, what's that? That's one, it's not one. It's a hundred. That's three hundred. That's one hundred. They don't get it. Starting off at a young age especially, this is not the way to go. We must use the methods where we can see the children using and understanding number. Is that okay?